Hi there lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm doing a series of reviews. This is the last episode I'm going to do and this is a bottle I bought a few days back and I tested it for I think a few uh, days as well. Uh, I decided to get it because this is a fragrance for women but uh, I sort of am a big fan of this line. Um, maybe I'll let it go but I reviewed a few from this line before. So the fragrance today we have is this fragrance from Burberry called My Burberry and this is the Eau de Toilette or EDT version. I previously covered EDP which was the older batch and I also covered this one. I don't have the EDP no more. I sold it off or finished the bottle but I absolutely still have some juice left on this My Burberry Black. This is the older uh, version. Okay, I got this early part of my journey uh, back in the days, you know, uh, I'll tell you stories. Okay. Uh, but I'll tell you why I got Burberry's this fragrance to review. I did review also the blush version. So this is the fourth I'll be reviewing. And I think there are about seven or eight, I would like to say. I don't remember. I saw on uh, Fragrantica there are quite a few versions of it. So Burberry is a very, very uh, renowned brand. When you think of their trench coats or uh, bags or their clothing, everything, there, there's a very posh uh, brand. And I think Burberry's stuff costs money. I mean, there's not cheap. If you get like Burberry bag or something or a trench coat, they're going to cost you money. And this is very special in a way because they do have a theme from their uh, clothing line, like trench coat, uh, the buttons. This is inspired by that the cap. Okay. Very elegant looking. And I think the counterpart of these are Mr. Burberry line, which came out much later. And I do have reviews on three or four of them, right? So uh, I don't have a box, okay? And then older days, I remember Burberry's, this line, the box used to be bigger. Now they make boxes smaller. I think reformulated a little bit out as well. And uh, let's show you the presentation, just the bottle. This is the 100 ml, I guess, version, or 90 ml rather, sorry. Uh, look at that bottle. This is a bottle, like Dolce & Gabbana, this ones, they do have some great looking bottles. And women's perfumes, the bottles are always mesmerizing, okay? So they do have that bow tie, I don't know what you call that, the ribbon, okay? And they do have the cap, which I really like. These caps are where you buy these bottles. These are very beautiful, very elegant, and expensive looking, looks like marble, okay? But I think it's hard plastic, it's Burberry in there. And then atomizer. And this one, the bottle doesn't spray so much. Uh, it's okay, I mean, not the biggest sprayer, the, not the best sprayer, but does work. And then the sticker and all that. The cap doesn't have very good grip on my bottle, especially on even my other one. It's not very strong click. There's no click and there's no uh, snug fit. Okay, it comes out very easily. So be careful. Do not pick it up by the cap because the bottle is super heavy with the heavy glass. Reminds me of Gucci Purim two bottles uh, or Gucci Purim bottle. That's the presentation. The prices on these used to be back in the days fifty five dollars. Okay, if you could get it for discounters, the retail was always high hundred something dollars. So back in the days, I remember when I bought the Mar My Burberry Black, I bought this for $70. Okay, this was my most expensive. Look at the juice color still. This is a fragrance I loved myself. I'll tell you the story. Let's talk about this. This one, uh, let's spray a little bit on myself. This is a floral fragrance, floral green, fresh fragrance. Um, there are a lot of notes, okay, Narcissus, the Mary, I don't remember all the floral notes. It's basically at least six to seven florals in this. So if you like fresh floral perfumes or floral bouquet, and you like a little bit light for summer wear, this is the kind of fragrance you are looking at. So the blush version was very nice, but I felt it lacked depth, okay? Didn't have performance. This one, EDP, and then the black version, the My Burberry Black, excellent longevity. This one, especially, what a gem. Let's talk about the older ones first, then keep it aside for a while, the EDP. The EDP that I had had florals at the same time, has some peach, apricot, some fruits to kind of balance things up and maybe jasmine or something. But the EDP was uh, less fresh, a bit more thick, fruity, floral. The EDT that I'm wearing right now, it's all I smell is fresh, cit uh, citrusy, florals, uh, green. Okay. But the black one, I got this for when I got this, I was just in market looking for anything that smells good. I used to buy Armani C. And a lot of this women's perfume I wear myself, Angel, um, what else did I get back in the days? A lot of perfumes I got for from women's style, which I wore myself. Uh, oh, what's that? YSL Black Opium. And then one of the, my favorites would be, wait, one more, there was one more. What's the fragrance I rocked a lot? I really liked. Okay, if I remember, I'll tell you, Angel Muse. Armani C was one of my favorites. Uh, wait, 
flower bomb. That was one of my favorite fragrances. So there was a time people would make fun of me. Hey, Joy, why are you wearing women's perfume? Because they last longer. Back in the days, I had a very strong reason because this fragrance is projected like nobody's business. This one has peach. Peach, strong, dark, sweet, fruity, thick fragrance, okay? And this is dark, sensual. This is something I would wear, like I would suggest to any women who are looking to get married or looking for a signature scent. This is strong. So I like this one the most from the line, followed by the EDT, then the blush. So how is the EDT? EDT is not as thick or syrupy as this, the black one, but I think this is more like Gucci Flora, you know, equivalent to those perfumes, like fresh, springtime, summer. Ladies who watch this, they would be interested in this. This is a kind of a nice fragrance for women like. This is totally girly fragrance, okay? Like, uh, I don't remember all the notes, but um, there are such nice notes, floral notes in this. Just check out the Fragrantica link. This one, it's all about florals. Green, fresh, think of walking in an open field. And it's like a nice uh, flowers everywhere, green leaves, breezy day, you know? This is a breezy fragrance, okay? Burberry and Bulgari, they make some really, really good floral perfumes. This is one of them. But it's not a must have for everybody. It does smell, to my nose, it does smell a little bit uh, old school, okay? How do I, like, <laughs> how do I, uh, like conclude like I said uh, like old school because it doesn't smell like the new fragrances that comes out nowadays all these girly perfumes good girl you know good girl blush this doesn't smell at all like these fragrances this is smell like smelling like those back in the days uh, like I remember 2000s or something ladies would rock this maybe 30 plus okay so this is a little bit mature smell to my nose and it's a bit expensive okay um, if you Trying to get a good deal, I think nowadays this fragrance will cost you somewhere between $75 uh, to $80, okay, on a discounter, okay, so it's not cheap. Definitely check it out. I mean, spray it on yourself, walk around. I got good longevity from this, but it doesn't last as much as the black version, okay. This one is ultimate beast, but this is good for winter. So overall, my assessment on this, this is a very chic, uh, classy, women-like perfume. A very breezy, floral, green fragrance for a nice rainy day or spring day or maybe, you know, like a casual day out okay girls day out brunch this kind of fragrance this is so classy perfume but i would say there are many other fragrances in the market which has this similar kind of floral but do not put too much do not put like five six sprays of it you will choke others okay just take note still pretty long lasting okay so my burberry edt i think it's good for summer and spring and it's a floral fresh perfume if you do not like florals florals give you headache Stay away from this. Do not even look at this. You will not enjoy this. Like some of the Gucci fragrances, they have that effect, right? So it's a totally, uh, like, I would say, try before you buy. Do not blind buy, okay? So my Burberry EDT, I'll still give this 7.5 out of 10. Not my most favorite from the line, but it's a still pretty uh, fragrance. Pretty fragrance. If you give it to your mom, she's going to enjoy it. Uh, but uh, just make sure to not overspray. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'll go upload this. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.